And here's a, a quick example of what happens when you shut off the valve too quick. It causes a water hammer effect. Let's see if I can get this. So there, there she's on. And we've had a lot of rain, so it's not sucking air bubbles anymore. You hear that? Let me do it again. And for whatever reason, the, the sound travels like all the way up it. It's a pressure wave. And I think halfway up, or a third of the way up there, it forms a cavitation bubble somehow, through shock waves or something. And that's why with a hydro turbine, you always have to shut it off slow. Then you don't have that shock. Uh, water hammer. Water hammer is what it's called. <clears throat> now, the water hammer can be used beneficially in systems in what's called a ram pump to take flow like this. And if you wanted to pump water above the intake, you could use that with a ram pump. That's not really necessary in my application. There'd be no benefit to that. Unless I was trying to do a, uh, a pressurized water system with greater than, you know, whatever pressure this is, um, 10 PSI or something.